Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is parrot fever, uh, which is uh, uh, medically known as uh, uh, cytokosis. You know. uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. You know, and uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition. Uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link is just below this video in the description area you know and now i come to the topic what is parrot fever you know a parrot fever uh, is a rare infection and it's caused by like uh, uh, chlamydia uh, cytoi, cytosy you know which is a specific type of uh, bacteria you know and uh, this infection is uh, uh, also known as parrot disease or maybe uh, pseudococcus you know and uh, the many cases uh, uh, may be undiagnosed or maybe unreported because uh, the symptoms are very similar to those of other illnesses you know so it's uh, really hard to diagnose uh, as the name suggests, you know, uh, it's acquired by the birds, you know, from the birds, you know. And uh, uh, parrots are not the only uh, possible culprits, you know, and other wild and uh, uh, pet birds may also carry these infections and pass to the humans, you know. Uh, so parrot fever has been reported in countries including Argentina, Australia and England, you know. And it may be found anywhere uh, the birds are kept as pets or uh, in large confined populations such as uh, poultry farms etc you know and uh, it's more common in tropical environments uh, in most cases uh, the humans catch the parrot's fever from the birds including like parrots or chickens or turkeys or pigeons or maybe uh, like uh, uh, ducks, you know, and other birds, you know. So you can also catch uh, uh, by handling an infected bird or uh, breathing in the fine particles of its urine, its feces, or uh, other uh, body secretions, you know. And you may also become infected if the bird bites you or kisses you by touching its like beak to your mouth, you know. And uh, catching the disease from an infected person is also possible, uh, but it's very rare. And uh, this may occur when uh, you inhale uh, the fine droplets that are sprayed into the air when the sick person coughs, you know. Uh, you know, infected birds, they don't uh, necessarily show symptoms. So they can also carry the bacteria for months before any like outward signs appear, you know. And uh, just because a bird does not look or uh, act sick does not mean that it's not infected, you know. So, infected birds may shiver or have like uh, difficulty in breathing. And other symptoms may include like discharge from the eyes or maybe from the nose, you know, diarrhea. Or uh, discolored droppings like urine or feces, you know, in various shades of green, you know, a weight loss and uh, sleepiness you know and the sick bird may uh, eat less or even stop eating completely you know uh, in people uh, the disease uh, typically resembles to the flu or the pneumonia you know and the symptoms usually begin approximately 10 days after exposure uh, but they may take a few as uh, four days or uh, as many as 90 days to show up you know and uh, it has uh, you know many of the symptoms that might associated with the flu include like fever and chills you know maybe muscle pains or weakness diarrhea coughing and most it's dry cough you know uh, fatigue uh, weakness you know and uh, vomiting and nausea you know and uh, the less common symptoms uh, uh, which may not uh, seem flu like uh, they include like chest pain, uh, shortness of breath, and sensitivity to light, you know. 
and in rare cases the disease uh, may cause like inflammation of various intestinal organs you know like uh, brain uh, so the internal organs may include like uh, the brain liver uh, heart and it can also lead to the decreased lung function and maybe pneumonia you know and the diseases uh, that have the symptoms similar to the parrot uh, fever may include like brucellosis, uh, 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 terroremia, or maybe uh, infective endocarditis, you know, influenza, tuberculosis, pneumonia, and Q fever, you know, which is another type of bacterial infection, you know. So these, uh, there are some kind of the common symptoms of these diseases, you know. And... Uh, as you know, the patients uh, with the Paris fever, you know, it's uh, such a rare condition, you know, so your doctor may not uh, suspect that disease at first, you know, and be sure to tell your doctor if you have recently been exposed to the birds, you know, or if you work in a pet shop or maybe uh, like uh, uh, poultry farm, etc., you know, or food processing, poultry processing plants, you know, uh, or any other workplace which is, uh, where you have contact with the birds, you know. So to diagnose the parrot fever, your doctor will generally perform several tests. So blood tests and the sputum cultures are, uh, they can reveal whether you have the type of bacteria that causes the infection, you know. And a chest x-ray can show the pneumonia that is uh, sometimes caused by the disease. And uh, your doctor will order antibody titer test, you know, to see if you have antibodies to the bacteria that causes the parrot fever, you know. And the antibodies are the proteins that uh, the immune system produces when it act, uh, detects the antigen. You know, or like a foreign or harmful substance, you know, like bacteria, or parasites, or viruses, you know. And the changes in the level of antibodies can indicate that you have been infected with the bacteria that uh, causes the that uh, parrot fever, you know. The next thing is what's diagnosed and what's the treatment option. You know, you know the parrot fever is treated with antibodies, tetracyclines and doxycycline. These are the two types of the antibiotics that are effective against this disease, you know. And your doctor may sometimes choose to treat uh, you know, with other types of the, uh, or other classes of the antibiotics. And in case of the very young children, they may be treated with uh, like azithromycin, you know. So after diagnosis, antibiotic treatment typically continues for 10 to 14 days. Uh, and uh, after that fever resolves, you know. And you know, the most people uh, who are treated with a Paris fever make full recovery, but it may be slow in certain people, you know, like older or very young children or who have other uh, like health issues, you know. It's really, it's very rare that it causes death, you know, in humans, uh, provided you have uh, received the proper treatment, you know. Well, if you have pets, pet birds, you know, you can take steps to reduce the chances of getting the parrot fever, and these include like cleaning your bird cages every day, taking good care of your birds to help prevent them from getting sick. And feed your birds properly and give them enough space to, so they can uh, they are not uh, crowded together in the cage you know and if you have more than one cage make sure the cages are far apart so that the feces uh, and the other metals uh, they cannot be transferred between them you know so these are the steps that you can take to prevent you know and uh, this way it's possible that uh, uh, you don't get fever you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like subscribe or share these videos to support this channel thank you and goodbye